Hi guys, welcome to another short blender tip and we're looking at the fluid simulator again and this time we're going to be um, making some liquid slosh around inside a container. Um, so previously we've done um, a, an object impacting a liquid and making a splash and we've also done water flowing into an object. Um, now we're going to have some, some liquid which sloshes around inside. So um, this one's a little bit more tricky to do maybe than the others. So we're going to start off by creating a UV sphere. We'll scale this up and I'm going to turn on smoothing. Um, then we'll go to a front view. We'll tab into edit mode. Uh, Z for wireframe view. And now we're going to hit B for box select. We'll remove these top vertices like so. And <clears throat> there we now have our bowl. So this could be a glass, you know, you, you could model this a little bit more if you wanted. Um, you know, for example, out here in edit mode, you could grab these um, bottom faces, pull out a stem on this glass. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and do that? Um, so we'll go to a bottom view and C for circle select. I'm just going to select these ones here. Oh, I want to go into face mode, sorry. C and I'll select these faces. Okay, now we've got those. I'm going to extrude that down. I'm going to scale it in. Go to a front view so we get a nice profile there. Bring that down like so. And then we'll extrude again. Scale. Let's give a nice stem to our glass. And then the same here, we'll just give a bottom to the glass. So you could spend a lot more time modeling this if you wanted. We're just making something quick and dirty. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this vertex, go to the front view, and we'll just move this up. And there we have our glass object. Okay. Um, so this is what we're going to have our liquid inside that's going to slosh around. We will need to make this double walled. So what we're going to do next is a couple of different ways you could do this. Um, you could use a solidify modifier. We're just going to drag out the, um, the top edges here in edit mode. So we'll go uh, shift and alt. E to extrude, S to scale, bring those in a little bit, and then we'll go to a front view. And we're going to make the inside of our glass here. So extrude down. And scale in. Make sure we got this right. It's going to solid. Hold on. Let's go back there. Edit mode here. Z for wireframe. S for scale. There we go. Okay, back to a front view. Extrude again. Scale. Extrude and scale. Okay, and then we're just going to close up these bottom edges there by um. Alt and M, merge at center, go into object mode, turn off wireframe. There's our glass shape. Um, gonna add a subdivision surface modifier to it in a moment just to smooth it out. The first thing we're gonna do before we do that is I'm gonna go to a top view. 
face select, C for circle select, and I'm going to grab this here. Shift and D to duplicate, and then P to separate by selection. Now we've got a separate object here which we can scale down a little bit and move upwards. So this is going to be our liquid object, so we'll rename this over here, liquid, and this is our glass, or we can call it the obstacle. Um, now our obstacle object, I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to it. Modifiers, subdivision surface, just give it a, a nicer, smoother finish. Bottom of our glass is a bit funny there, but this uh, this will do for us. Anyway, the purpose of this tutorial really is the the liquid, not the modeling. Um, okay, so we'll apply that subdivision surface modifier. With the net in our liquid tools, we're going to turn on smooth shading. And now we need to make our domain. So let's go to our front view. Just going to drag both of these objects up above there. Create. A new cube which will scale up. Just go into wireframe mode. Okay, so we're going to make sure our, our glass fits within the domain. And now we're going to add our fluid simulator modifier to this, and this will be our domain object. Fluid world, we're going to have the preset water. Fluid particles, let's generate 0 0.03 to generate a few particles for us and our fluid boundary. Turn on free slip and two levels of subdivision. Should do us. Okay, so there's our glass. Um, this will be our obstacle object. So fluid simulation and we want obstacle. In our initialization method, we're going to go to shell, and we'll leave everything else as it is. And then our liquid, turn on fluid, and that'll be a fluid object. Okay, so now we come back out here, select our cube, and we will go to bake. Now oh, you see we've got a problem here with the liquid is escaping out of our glass. Which is not ideal. You see we have liquid escaping there. Splashing down to the ground. So it seems like our glass has a hole in it, which obviously it should not. So these types of problems are common issues that uh, you're going to come up against when using the fluid simulator, um, especially when you're trying to contain within a glass. It can become a little bit tricky, and you can end up with these types of problems. So we'll look at a few different ways of fixing this. So one way is to change the um, liquid in its modifier to a volume initialization to be the shell rather than volume. And that will begin to help tidy things up a bit. You can see now we've got our liquid more contained inside of our glass here. So another thing we can do is increase the, um, the resolution 
which will also help you see that tidies things up a little bit if you were to put that resolution up say to 102 it's going to take a lot longer to bake you can see here now it requires a lot more memory during the baking process um, however it should help give us a a more smooth fluid which stays within our glass so let's hit bake again it's going to take a little bit of time this time because we've got a much higher resolution there so it's going to take longer to do so i'm just going to pause the video while this is baking and we'll be back in a few moments it's finished um took a lot longer to do we can hide our liquid object grab our cube object and we'll turn on smooth shading and now you should see if we play this that we don't now have the liquid coming through the glass so we also have a smoother liquid on the inside there you can see the way it's um, being rendered out it looks a lot smoother than before because we've got more kind of subdivisions to it so that's um, how you can begin to um, get a fluid to behave and stay inside of a, an object or a container um, just a brief introduction like I said these uh, tutorials uh, tips are just supposed to be just very brief overviews of how to get things um, moving in Blender then you can do your own further research to and playing around to um, improve the the output so I hope you find this useful if you did please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with my latest tutorials here on my YouTube channel.